Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do another craft with me video. Uh, I don't think it's going to be too, too long though. Uh, Y'all seem to really enjoy the craft with me videos and the glue books. So we're definitely going to keep doing the glue books. Um, I think I need to get more material before I can start another glue book. So we're just going to keep working in the winter glue book. Um, I know that it seems very Christmassy right now, but I do have wintry stuff in there too. And we can put a whole bunch of winter stuff in there. We can just make it whatever we and then again, it can just be a Mod Podge of all kinds of stuff because guess what? There's no rules. We just put stuff in a book and there you go. As long as you got, as long as you have fun, that's all that matters, right? So anyway, um, so yesterday I showed you guys the, um, my planner, my YouTube planner for the next, uh, the coming years, um, because the really the only reason that I have this is so I can keep track of my videos and so they're not on just a sheet of paper like this stuck to my because I've been putting I've been putting them on my wall over there and so I can just like toss this out and then it'll be fine so anyway um I made this from a three ring binder uh it was one of the target dollar spot I believe it could have come from anywhere, but I believe it was a Target dollar spot binder and I just wrapped it with some fabric. It didn't go all the way. So then I put some lace on this side and, you know, put some extra pieces over here. I did go ahead and write in all of the days. Um, so this is January, February, March, and so on and so forth. This is 2022. Um, the first day is on a Sunday. So I've got Sunday right there. And then the second day goes to sun, um, Sunday. I'm sorry. The first day is on Saturday. So Sunday and then all the way through. And that actually stops here. So I started May here. And again, it started on Sunday. So I just kind of kept going like that. And I wrote down all the dates. Um, this was actually getting to be a little tedious as far as the marker because it wasn't really showing up the way that I wanted it to. So then I flipped over to a different marker that it was a little bit lighter like this, but it was bleeding through. So that wasn't working either. So then I had to go back over it with a pen which is this. And then I just decided to continue them out writing them with just regular ink pen. And so I've got all the way through the end of 22. And that's all I've done so far. But I can write out enough for 23 and 24. And I don't have enough pages to do 25. But being that there's not really going to be a lot of decorating in this, I'm literally just using it to write in. This will be perfect for the next few years. Um, but I do want it to be pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change these covers of these dividers because they don't match at all my style. Um, like none of it. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I've got this paper from Mente, Mint, Mente, I believe is how you pronounce this. I'm not a hundred percent sure to be honest with you. Um, I got this paper from ASC crafts and it's really pretty. It's nice and thick. You can, um, I'm probably not going to do the cards. I'm probably not going to use those, but I can use one sheet. I only need three sheets of paper because I have six dividers. So one, two, three, there we go right there. Um, and I only need three sheets of paper because I'm not putting this on front and back. Um, cause it's not exactly the cheapest paper in the world. I'm just trying to figure out if I want something else other than what I've got, but I think that works. All right. So, uh, so 
I will grab my trimmer here and I'm going to cut this directly in half and that should give us enough because I did fold one of these in half and see if it was big enough and it is. So we're going to cut it directly in half. We're just going to do all three of them, I hope, because it's really thick paper. And I cut off the bottom real quick. This is having a hard time sitting in my trimmer because it's more than 12 inches. All right, so there's nothing on here except for maybe the title, which is called Sweet Secret Place. It's the title of this particular. Oh, there's a product code right there. Bloop. Y'all see that? Uh, let's see, right there. Bloop. Nope. There we go. Mm. All that work, and you probably could have seen it five minutes ago. Anyway, that's the product code. Uh, I don't know what you would need that for or if it even helps at all, but there you go. You're welcome. And I'm just going to take this and cut it right in half, and then that's it. All right, so now we've got six pieces. And I'm going to do one at a time. And these are going to be on the front of the piece. So we're going to do it like this. All right, so I think I want to sew around these, so I'm not going to worry too, too much about uh, tacking them down super wonderfully. Um, oh my gosh, you know, I found these in my stash, so I'm going to use these until I run out. This one is double-sided adhesive. I don't know if you're permanent or not. I have a green one, too. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, this is a dot runner. I don't need the dot runner. All right. So, Studio G. Got it at Michael's some long, long time ago. And now let's see if I can figure out how to make it work. All right. Perfect. All right. So, we want it to lay like this because we're going to flip it over and that's going to be the front. Okay, so and like I said, it doesn't need to be like super perfect because I am going to sew it, but I do want it aligned right, so I don't have to cut it. There we go. I mean, I still have to cut it anyway, but give me. Thank you. And we are going to do these one at a time. So, um, so I don't lose my spacing on because they're dividers and I've already got a lot of them like spaced out and divided up and whatnot like that. So uh, my hair is doing something crazy today. And it, poof. Uh, this is a We Are Memory Keeper hole punch. I uh, can't see the holes, so I'm just going to open this up. It might actually be too big. Um, no, that's about right. All right. I was going to say I'm sorry for hitting the mic, but I don't think that is the mic. Because I have an external mic, but something is really wonky with it. And every time I try to use it, it picks up the background noise of my computer. Like, it's crazy loud. 
And then when I try to edit out the background noise, then I sound like a robot. I'm like, well. All right, so I will trim this down later. But for now, we're just going to grab another piece here. And... All right, let's see. We can do, let's do the pink one. Okay. All right, pardon me. And we want it to sit like, yo, really dude? Okay, we're just gonna put you there for now because you all up in the way. That's not right. All right, the tab needs to go on the left. That's what we figured out. The tab needs to go on the left. Ooh, that would be cool too. We could do it like this and then have like, put something right there. Mm. I think that would actually be easier than trying to cut around these tabs. I despise fussy cutting. I don't know if you guys know that yet. I despise fussy cutting a lot. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I am going to go around the top here, which means I'm going to put it on this way. Perfect. And don't forget, I am going to be sewing around all these. So if you guys are thinking, wow, that's not a lot of glue, especially to last multiple years, you're absolutely right. It is not. I was actually thinking about getting a brother scan and cut. Does anybody have one? And if you do, what are the pros and cons? Like, do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it more money than it's worth? Or is it more hassle than it's worth? So I saw... Um, I think Miss... I'm pretty sure Miss Daisy over at Tsunami Rose, I'm fairly certain she has a scan and cut, and I think she just got the brand new one, the updated version. So I'm going to have to see if I can't talk to her and see um, like what she thinks of the older version versus the newer version, you know, and whatnot. All right, so we just did the pink one. So let's do the green one. We also have this on the back. What's on the back of the pink one? I think that's like a gray color. There's this one. That one's too pretty not to use. So we're going to keep that. But we might use these. I kind of like these though instead. Oh, fart. I don't know. Um. Wait, which way are you supposed to go? This way. So it needs to go that way. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Just checking. All right. Um... See, I like the front of this one better, so I'm going to keep that one, and we'll do the back of this one, but we'll do it up here. There we go. Thank you. 
All right, then, hello. Seems dark, right? Oh, <laughs> it's because my papers are right there. I was like, wow, it seems really dark right there. Yeah, it's because my big old huge papers were blocking the light. All right, so there's that one. And then, yep. And there's this one we're going to do here. I like this. Not uh, this way. Yeah, I think I want it like that. All right. So, hold that. You're squeaky. You're like a little mouse type thingy, a bobber. All right, which side are you? Yeah, you're this way. Yeah, I want you that way. Okay, just checking. And these are all really good sized scraps, so you could use them for all kinds of things. You can make journaling cards out of them, you can use them for collaging. Like these strips right here, you can use for clusters, collage, you know, whatevs. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with scraps like this, especially when they're super pretty like that. Like pretty paper, pretty paper will get you very far. Because if you have pretty paper, a lot of times you can just let the paper speak for itself. It's one of the reasons I love Prima and Stamperia, because they're both gorgeous papers. Alright, so now we're going to do this one. Let's do... I kind of want this bird... But I really want the door too. But if I get the door, I'm not going to get the bird. But I can get the door and leave the bird, and the bird could do a. We could do like a card or something. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Okay. So we're not doing the bird, we're going to keep the bird. Bird, 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 so we... Okay. All right. All right, then we've got one more, and we could do many things with the back. We could um, just decoupage a napkin, rice paper, uh, fabric, um, anything like that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it pretty simple, and I'm going to cover it with coffee dyed paper. Um, so we've got one more. And we're going to do, I really like the front of this. Do the back, but 
I really like the front. Which one did we use a second ago? Which one was it? That one? So if I do it right down, right in the middle, I need that. All right, let's do it right down the middle. That way we'll take these little uh, brown parts out or that'll mess up my card. I'll just pick a spot. Being indecisive is no bueno. All right, we're gonna flip it over. And we're going to go with, does it matter which way it goes? Hmm, I have no idea. All right. Okay, there we go. And what side did we pick? Marks for me. All right, so then we're going to clean up our scraps real quick. So we're not going to throw these away. We're going to keep these because these are big and chunky. And they'll be really nice to have for um, some upcoming projects that I have. So... That and I still need to work on the um, the year round journals, the one with, that we're doing with the calendar. So I still need to work on those. So those will make really great ephemera pieces for um, for like the springtime months. All right. Hold that. Right. And I also have this thing in the back here, but I think I'm going to wait to do that. I have uh, this piece here. Back here. But I think I'm going to wait to do that because it's not terrible. Um, it's not neon. <laughs> so, and shiny. So those will be okay. Let me cut this down real quick. Um, this is going to be fun. Okay. This is not my favorite pastime. I wonder if I could I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to try it though. Ooh. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> I like this. That was nice. Okay. So, now that I have that done, Hold that. Close you. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Now, now that I know that that works, I'm kind of regretting going and doing the others. But 
that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go and do coffee dyed. All right, go over there. This is not going to work for in half, I don't think. No. Definitely not going to work in half. Okay. And I don't even think it's going to work that way because it's too tall. All right. So I have an idea. We can actually, it's going to be minimal gluing on this too because again same thing sewing around okay. yeah and you can use scraps like this for a lot of things too so we're going to keep that and i'm cutting my folder stop cutting the folder or it's not a folder, it's a divider pocket. No, it's not a pocket. It's a divider thingy. Mm. It's a divider. Yeah, it's a divider. Oh, I wanted to show you guys too the calendar pieces. Um, we'll probably do that in the next video though, because we're gonna we're probably gonna work on the calendars again in the next video. Because uh, like I said, I wanted to get this done so I could use it, and I have I have already used it. Um, like I've got my first two videos up, third video up. This is gonna air on Monday, the fourth. So, no. Oh. Another sheet of paper. And it's not really going to matter the orientation. And I'm probably sure you could do, I don't even have it on me. Where'd my thing? I don't know where my sand block went, but you could probably sand this as well. And I have my sand block somewhere. I probably buried it because I have a couple scraps just kind of flung all over the place at the moment. Normally, I've got my scraps pretty confined to one location, but with so many different projects going on at once, I've got them in a couple different locations. Some of them are just generalized crafts, or scraps rather, and some of them are scraps that would go nice with this project or that project or whatever. Which is nice, but at the same time, it makes for a kind of disorganized chaotic mess on my desk <laughs> which is kind of humorous actually because I think we are all chaotic and disorganized at least crafters anyway I'm glad I did that I like that and I want to keep that one so we're going to do it like this Wow, y'all are going to get three craft with me videos in a row. I mean, they're all different things, but three craft with me videos all in a row. 
I do have a longer one in there too for you guys. Because I know some of you really like the, the longer ones. Um, hopefully this one's not going to be too terribly long. It is over 30 minutes already. But I only have two pieces left. And I'm not going to sew these on camera. But I do have to poke the holes in them. Because otherwise I can't put them back in the binder. And that is probably one of the most time consuming aspects of all of this is poking the holes. Oh, I lied. I can't count. I have three left. All right. That and lining up the edges, that seems to be pretty time consuming too. Cutting not so much, because you're just cutting a straight line. I don't know, I guess just adding it all up makes it a little time consuming. Alright. How did it? Yeah, I messed again. Yep. And then that one. And this is paper that I've gotten from Miss Emily over at the Vintage Polka Dot. Um, I absolutely love, love, love her coffee dyed paper. Um, she does fantastic work. And on top of that, it smells amazing. Like, I have no idea what she does to it. For the longest time, I thought she put cinnamon in it. And then someone made it with cinnamon. It is not cinnamon. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to ask her because it's her little secret. But it smells uh, amazing and it's I think it's one of her selling points um, whether she realizes it or not I have no idea but she might just do it because she likes the smell of it maybe that's how it started I don't know all I know is it smells wonderful and I do need to get more paper um, I bought a lot last year and I am almost through that entire stash that I bought last year which is a good thing because that means that I'm making a lot of journals selling a lot of journals um, I think I might um, I haven't decided if I'm going to take them off the shop completely or if I'm going to do like a, a clearance discount or something like that for the Christmas journals um, well, let's do this one I like this one that one's pretty so anyway, I haven't decided um, what I'm going to do with that, but, oh, well, good thing I found those in my stash because that is empty. I didn't even finish this. Okay, I don't recommend these. I mean, they work, but there is not a lot in here. And you guys see how very little I am actually using this. Um... If you were really using this on something that mattered and you were like wanting to use a decent amount of glue, I don't think you would be able to finish a project. I know I got them at Michael's. I don't remember how much they were because it was like three or four years ago that I bought them. So I don't remember that. I am sorry for that. But, um... I mean, they work I right, as long as you don't have a lot to do. They're quick and easy. I do like that. But one of the things that I had planned on doing in 2021 was use up my stuff. And I don't mean materials like paper and stickers and stuff like that. I mean stuff like glue and tape. I mean, how many times have we bought a 
you know, a glue stick because we saw someone use it and then we found something better that we liked even better. So now we have this like pack of glue sticks sitting in our craft room that we haven't touched in a year and a half because we found something better. So that is what I am doing. I am going to try to get through all of my tools and supplies like that in the next year or in this year rather so now we have we need to make the tabs still but and i need to sew around all these pieces and like i said i will do that off camera um but we've got all of our dividers now so this is the front just in case you missed that coming in this is the front this is the spine this is the back and it is a it's a binder and there's a divider, there's uh, one year, that's 2001, there's the other divider, 2000, or 2001, wow, 2020, 2020, oh my god, start over, rewind, bloop, bloop, there's the front, there's the spine, there's the back, there's the inside cover, first divider, First year is 2021, second divider, second year, 2022, third divider. I don't have this print or I don't have this written out yet, but this will be the um, 2023 and 2024. And I don't have enough to finish off 2025, but I do have a little bit and the last divider and then a, just a section for notes so in the very first video i did thin this out a good bit and i took out the stuff that i didn't need and we left the stuff that i figured i would use a lot so in, guy, in case you guys missed it this is my youtube writing journal um it will be nice and pretty because i like pretty journals um, but it is strictly for writing i might decorate a little bit as you can see i am decorating a little bit now but it's not going to be one of those completely fully embellished um, junk journals that I normally make because it's not a journal. It's a planner. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it inspires you to create something wonderful and beautiful. And uh, thank you guys so much and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.